be dishonest if I say, for instance, I like the NDC. <laughs> or I endorse the NDC. I'll be dishonest. Don't take me serious. I don't, for good reasons. The party, I mean. But when an NDC administration is in government and it initiates policies that are positive and progressive, I support them, those policies. And I've done that many times. And a lot of my friends in the MPP get angry with me and they attack me. Left, right, center. So I draw an extension, okay? Policies that are good, projects that are good, regardless of the color of the regime, whether NDC or CPP or MPP, I look at that project and I back it. But when it comes to my political stance on a party like NDC, because of their genesis, you see, they overthrew our party in the Third Republic. <laughs> and then when they came, they formed three or four parties. And today the CPP is in the belly of the NDC virtually. Yeah, 90% yeah. 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 of their constituencies that they hold are traditional CPP uh, constituencies. It's going to take us a long time to fight to regain our strength. So I have a problem with NDC. And then the coup d'etat that brought the PNDC into being it was a matter of conviction, a matter of principle. I went to jail for that, for opposing them. I was in jail for two years just because of the opposition to the coup. So yes, I'm biased when it comes to some of those issues. My own very good friend, former President Rollins, also, I have a little difficulty. I like him personally. He's a fantastic personality, social. But his politics are detested.